And with that, Big Co's now on the clock. Picking for Washington Bullets. The Bullets. Pick 210 in our 12 yep. man rookie mock it up before you fuck it up. This is a home league. We're kind of we split up the teams and we're picking for other people's teams. The three of us are just rookie, rookie mocking this up. In case you're listening on YouTube, wanted to give you a little preliminary. Hit us up on the Twitter at the FF Dynasty. Big Co. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who Thanks you got at 210 here? Thanks for Big that. Go. Sum it all up. Did not have a first round pick for this team. Right. This is the guy that traded for Shady, the other team we just mentioned. He was on a conquest to win the league. Right. Fell short. He, he Good was team, though. tearing it up for a while last year, and he looked like he was number one. He was, he was, I think he led the league in points, and he was number, he's battling me for the number one and two spot for a while, and then I had a couple of bad weeks and fell down in the ranks and got beaten the first week of the playoffs by a team that wasn't supposed to be there. But anyway, so two still team, talking about that, huh? Two ten, two ten on this this guy's team gave away his first rounder. And I took Lamar Jackson. And then when I texted in For the real? group I I took Lamar Jackson and when I texted in the group, Jay Wayne said, Did Bad you pick. did you even look at this dude's team? He's got three quarterbacks. And I said, Yeah, but Tyrod Taylor, where he's getting dropped. Given the Baker Mayfield All situation. that love you gave to Tyrod Taylor defending Lamar Jackson. Now he's getting dropped. Well, this guy's got Jared Goff and Matt Ryan. Yep. And I'm taking Lamar Jackson on here to make a strength of strength. I mean, maybe I'll... Now, this was taken before... This pick happened before Andrew Luck threw a high school football. So maybe I'll... If I had it to do all over again, mm-hmm. I might slide a Deion Kane in there, given he mm-hmm. does have the quarterbacks. But my logic there, and you probably thought I was just uh, giving you a hard time, was, uh, you know... Drop Tyrod Taylor. You are, you got Matt Ryan, Jared Goff, so you, you don't, don't need to a drop quarterback. Drop Tyrod Taylor. Well, yeah. Let's just pump the brakes for a second. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you could try to do something with them. You could throw Lamar Jackson on your taxi. Trade squad. him to the guy who just got Baker. Do you something with trade him. Trade him to the guy that you got to throw Baker. Throw him out like tr- yesterday's trash. <laughs> <laughs> you put a, some chicken in there and it's just <laughs> sitting in there. It's kind of hot. Yeah, yeah. So drop Tyrod Taylor. <laughs> and then you got Matt Ryan and Jared Goff, and that's what, yeah, you might, you probably look to get a. Later, Anything pick, but you, not a quarterback. Get a third round pick from for Tyrod Taylor, maybe for the guy that just took but took Baker Mayfield potentially. But you know, we'll see That's what happens. You who had Tom Brady, you're but not giving was, up a third round pick to get Tyrod Taylor. Not right? Tyrod, but that was my point. Was yeah. this guy takes Lamar Jackson and maybe he trades away Matt Ryan or Jared Goff to somebody like my team that only has uh, Baker Mayfield? Yeah, but you would you'd have to pay and a Tom, premium for those guys. I'm not paying a premium. Well, for any exactly. So you're not going to get them. Well, maybe maybe he wants to trade him away and do something. Mm. But like you said, there's a 12 man league, one quarterback. There's a couple of idiots that have all up plenty this, of quarterbacks. A couple of idiots that have three quarterbacks on their team, and I'm, I'll try to poach one for cheap and get the cheapest one I can get. But anyway, he's so a I'd, quality player. He's not giving you anybody for Lamar cheap. Lamar Jackson, put him on this team. You plenty of different directions you could have gone with. The dude's, you know, he's got a couple of good running backs, got a couple of good wide receivers, got a couple of good tight ends. He's pretty solid all the way across the board. Decent practice squad. My thing was this is again a home run cut for him. Same argument that I just gave that you know we all had between Lamar Jackson and Baker Mayfield. Lamar Jackson's on the board here at two ten because Baker Mayfield went off at two eight. I threw to Lamar Jackson on this guy's team as an absolute home run cut. Yeah, I'm. I'm I want to be clear that I'm not upset about the pick that you made necessarily. I like the if you're going to say that you're at this point in the draft and you know all the solid guys are gone and you're taking home run cuts on potential, that's a hundred percent okay. I was just poking holes in your argument of no, why just I'm, by saying potential and just potential. because there's he could run around uh, you and know i, I want to extrapolate on and he's fast right i like exact. i like i like the argument that we had and i like how natural of an argument it was it was just like guys sitting around talking football well we went out in the backyard and we fought afterwards right <laughs> Now that I got a bloody usually, nose. Usually we, we duke this stuff out before we get on the mic, so we didn't talk at all about that before we got on the mic. We've talked mics. about it multiple times, though. The, this was this was a really good organic quarterback argument, and it was really good. And at the end of the day, my thing about it is when we got done and then Jay Wayne sitting over there couldn't believe that me and Casey were throwing elbows after we got off the mics, that – I you know, you said potential was a word that was used a lot, and then – Case and then Jason asked me after we were done with that argument was so you're not going to be upset. You said you wouldn't be upset if Baker Mayfield was good. You know you wouldn't and you would be upset if you didn't take Lamar Jackson and he was good. So the the point I wanted to make sure that I made was two years ago in this league I won a championship with Tyrod Taylor and Eli Manning on my team, and it's a 12 man one quarterback league. I don't need Baker Mayfield or Lamar Jackson on my team. I can get by with nobody. I can literally start no quarterback and probably make the playoffs. So. 
If Lamar How's the Jackson, air up there? Is it all if, right? Yeah, it's Le- ice cold. Well, Jesus. <laughs> if, I mean, I could, I could, I, I, I would imagine that Andy Dalton. No, Andy Dalton's oh, not on rain. the waivers. Andy, Andy Dalton's not on the waivers. But that's what I mean. I could pick up. I could pick up. Not Sam not Bradford. Playing a quarterback this could pick year. up You're Sam Bradford and We're play him for a couple weeks. I could tell you that there's no quarterbacks on this waiver wire. Okay. I know, I know, I'm, I, I know that there isn't because I had to trade for one in the middle of the season because all mine were hurt. And Did there Case one, Keenum got picked up. That Case Keenum was uh, was picked up. Okay, uh, fair enough. For our Josh team. McCown was picked up. Let me finish up. what I was saying. I yeah, I mean, I got Tom Brady. I traded for him. I had Tyrod. I cut Eli Manning. Eli Manning might be out there. Um, the, the whole the there? point of it is is I went for. It is a home run cut. It's an absolute home run cut. It's Lamar Jackson or bust for me at two eight. You know and what happens to the home run cutters? They strike out a lot, Big Co. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I can, I, I just that's all that baseball that's is all now. I that's why it's unwatchable. I know it's terrible. Home runs are strikeouts. But that's I, that's what I ball. wanted to put. That's what I would have wanted to put on my team at 2-8. We're at 210. I picked Lamar Jackson for this guy. But to go back, just to, like Casey said, he wanted to clear some things up. What I was trying to say was oh. I would be happy with Lamar Jackson's. If he's, if he's considered good, then his fantasy pr- output, I believe, is going to outproduce Baker May- and be good enough to be to break into a twelve man one quarterback starting lineup and be ha- and be happy about it. For me to want to put him in my lineup, he's gonna he'd be he'd be kicking butt for fantasy points. And otherwise he's he could be Alex Smith for all I care and I could get him for a third round pick. Yeah, I think these are all lofties and ifs and maybes. If was a fifth. We'd all be I'm not, we're not going to get back into it. I already made my case. I think Lamar Jackson could be a good quarterback. I'll let you have the floor again. I, and I think that uh, he needs to learn the way I learned from my father, the way he learned from his father. <laughs> <laughs> How to throw the ball accurately. I think it's a good home run cut, and I'm, I'm not upset about, about the pick if that's what you want to do. Just But to say that Baker Mayfield wouldn't be somebody you'd be excited to have in your starting lineup if he was – Awesome after two weeks is is ludicrous. Oh yeah, I didn't say that. Ludo. I mean, you pretty I, much did though. You just you said it again. Well, just I, a second ago. He's I I don't think he's going to be awesome after two weeks and re- and good enough for my starting lineup. <laughs> More it, importantly, is, is that clip too long that he needs to learn? <laughs> clip is it? It's, no, it's too it's long. Fun. It's good. good. Okay. It's it's just about that that old uh, that Baker can sit and doesn't have to come in and start right away for your team, just like Lamar Jackson isn't going to come in and start right away for your team. I, and I like the pieces around right. Baker so much more. I don't like the Ravens offense. Who do they even have? Like They, they tried to sign Dez, for Christ's sake. Yeah. I, I, and they want to run the ball. They want to play defense. The Browns have ridiculous weapons. I'm excited. I'm kind of <laughs> excited about the Browns like I am every year, but I'll probably be disappointed. Yeah, there could be a, a huge... High points per game ceiling with Baker Mayfield and that attack. Yeah, the and potentials to there too. Just discard it like it's not like it couldn't be a really good starting quarterback for your team for nothing at this point. What are you this, doing? Was the point that I was going with? Case, are you gonna take are you gonna take Lamar Jackson here? I mean, like I don't mind taking Lamar Jackson here. That's I don't mind taking Lamar Jackson at two eight. I just was simply just stating some arguments for the case there, just because I didn't enjoy the way it was being presented. Hmm. Can you feel the tension in the air right now? <laughs> no, it's it's all good. I don't I don't hate the pick at all. This is is a huge. The ceiling is ginormous for the running aroundedness of what Lamar Jackson can do. The running aroundedness, I like that. All right, well let's run around to break, and we'll be back to finish out the second round. Finally, get the hell out of this second round for your pleasure. Try to talk about these here. idiots. <laughs> we'll be right back. 